Right now, hoping to breathe new life into a Madison cold case. On the 15th anniversary of her disappearance, the family of a murdered woman is now offering a reward. Plus, just hours after posting bond, the DeForest man facing stalking and attempted kidnapping charges is back in jail on possible new charges. And later, it's NBA draft night, and UW star Johnny Davis goes in the top 10. We'll show you where he's heading straight ahead. That's all coming up right now on News 3 Now at 10. Well, good evening. Thanks for having us in. First tonight, we begin with breaking news stories. First, a green alert issued about an hour ago for a missing Madison veteran. 43-year-old Michael Segage was last seen by family yesterday leaving his home on Madison's west side. He has not returned, and family hasn't heard from him since. He drives a silver 2009 Toyota Camry with Wisconsin plates 382TJW, and police are worried about his well-being. And also breaking tonight, about 30 minutes ago, the evenly divided U.S. Senate passed a bipartisan bill to address gun violence in America. It's the first major federal gun safety legislation in decades. The bill passed as some Republicans joined Democrats in support of the measure. Senator Tammy Baldwin voted for it, while Senator Ron Johnson voted against it. The bill will next go to the House before it can be sent to President Biden to be signed into law. Today marks the 15th anniversary of the disappearance of this woman, Kelly Nolan. She was a UW Whitewater student spending the summer in Madison in 2007. After a night out on State Street, she disappeared. After an extensive search, her body was found 16 days later in the woods 10 miles away in the town of Dunn. Her death was ruled a homicide by blunt force trauma, but her killer has never been caught. And just announced this afternoon, Nolan's family is now offering a new $25,000 reward for information that could lead to the conviction of her killer. Our Arman Rahman spoke with Kelly's sister tonight. Arman? That $25,000 reward is being offered for the next year. The family tells me they're trying everything they can to bring the killer to justice to help heal a gaping hole in their lives. Looking through these old pictures of when we were kids, we used to... Every year that goes by, memories with Kelly Nolan become more special to her sister April. We were into the Spice Girls. We did like a Spice Girls play. We did, I don't even know, so many different music performances and plays in our in our basement as kids, which I would never want anybody to see those, nor would Kelly, but... But every year without justice adds to the pain. I'll just stay awake and just, I don't know, search stuff on the internet that I think will somehow lead to information that maybe I'll put something together. Just think through that night over and over in my head, like, and I'm sure my mom does. I'm sure my fam other family members do, too. Kelly Nolan was last seen after a night out on State Street in Madison on June 23rd, 2007. I swear that morning when she went missing, I just, I knew something bad had happened to her. I just had a really, really bad feeling. After a 16-day search, the body of the UW Whitewater student was found in the woods in the town of Dunn, 10 miles away. Officials ruled her death a homicide, blunt force trauma to the torso with fractures. No one ever should have anything like this ever done to them, and if it is done, they deserve justice. 15 years later, and her killer's still never been caught. It just is like this piece that you just want closure to, and it just never goes away. It just kind of eats at you, and I think for everybody in my family, it's, it just adds another layer of hurt to what's happened. April's family is now offering a $25,000 reward for what they need most from the community. We're just begging that you bring that information forward and help us. Police are asking anyone with information to call Madison Area Crime Stoppers. They say all tips are investigated thoroughly. No piece of information or detail is considered too small or too insignificant. Brady. Thank you, Armand. Turning things over now to our weather, Chief Meteorologist Gary Canaldi has our certified most accurate forecast. Gary? Well, it's a sunny and warm day today, but the humidity levels made it feel pretty comfortable. Let's start out by taking a look at the time lapse from the WIC Skycam. We had sunny skies pretty much from sunup to sundown. Very few clouds across southern Wisconsin, and that allowed the temperatures to warm up nicely. Now, farther up to the north, there have been some strong to severe thunderstorms over parts of central Minnesota and far northwestern Wisconsin, but the air is drier here in the southern part of the state, and those showers and storms will 
clouds eye out before they reach us. High temperature today, 87 in Madison, 88 in Janesville, but out to the west is a little warmer. 89 in Prairie du Chien, 91 in Boscobel, and 94 in La Crosse, whereas Milwaukee didn't get out of the mid-70s. They're in the mid-60s now, closer to Lake Michigan, whereas inland temperatures are still in the upper 70s. Janesville still at 81 degrees. Dew point temperatures are around 60, maybe a little bit higher out to the west, but these will fluctuate up and down a bit for the next day or so. Look for a low tonight of about 67. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. High temperature around 90 degrees, but with low humidity. We'll see some thunderstorm chances later tomorrow night into Saturday. I'll tell you when we can expect those in just a few minutes. Thanks, Gary. Hey, big news tonight for UW Badgers Athletics. Basketball star Johnny Davis is drafted number 10 overall this evening in the NBA draft, heading to Washington, D.C. That makes him the first Badger to be drafted in the first round since Frank Kaminsky and Sam Decker went in 2015. We'll have more on this story coming up in sports. On Next at 10, all this week we've been telling you about a rise in car thefts. The car types aren't random. Kias and Hyundais, they're pretty easy prey. Today we spoke with the Madison Police Department about what it's doing to help protect anyone who drives these kind of cars. The department tells us that this trend of Kia and Hyundai thefts is not just something their force is checking out. It's a nationwide issue with the car's vulnerability. So if you own a Kia or Hyundai, eh, MPD has some advice. We want to lock everything up every night, park in places with good lighting. If you have one of these vehicles that can be broken into and driven away without the keys, we would urge you to put it in a locked garage. The police department says focusing on vehicle thefts was already on its agenda for the summer before this recent uptick. It's assigned more detectives to look into this case and added extra patrols to look out specifically for Kia and Hyundai owners. A 19-year-old DeForest man arrested earlier this year on attempted kidnapping and stalking charges is back in jail tonight following new developments in the investigation. According to DeForest police, Gabriel Savage is now booked on several new tentative charges, including four counts of attempted first-degree homicide and attempted first-degree sexual assault of a child. Court records show Savage posted a $10,000 bond yesterday. DeForest Police Chief James Olson says after he was released, investigators were alerted to new information related to the initial case, which supported the new possible charges. The information is significant and it will take a little bit of time to digest, and I do not know when the charging decision will ultimately be made. But rest assured, we do not believe there is no or any additional public safety threat from this investigation. DeForest police did not provide details on what the new information discovered in the case was, but did say in a statement it will be released when they are legally able to do so. New tonight, law enforcement has arrested this man, 62-year-old Patrick Knockreiner, from the village of Plain, following a deadly hit and run near Sauk City earlier this week. Police say they got a call from his attorney, saying his client believed he hit a deer. The crash happened near County Highway B and Castle Road in the town of Troy Monday night, and police received that call two days later. Deputies conducted a search warrant at the suspect's home, and they found the vehicle believed to be involved. The release said the vehicle appeared to have damage consistent with hitting a person and a bicycle rather than a deer. Now an update in the Slenderman case. 20-year-old Morgan Geyser is asking a Waukesha County judge to order her release as he did last year for her co-defendant, Anissa Wire. During a hearing today, the judge appointed three doctors to evaluate Geyser's mental state and to submit their reports by August 26th. The two Wisconsin women were sent to a mental health facility after a 2014 stabbing attack on a sixth grade classmate. Stephen Avery, the man serving a life sentence after being convicted of killing Teresa Hallback in 2005 and then profiled in the Netflix series Making a Murderer, was transferred to a prison in Dodge County this week. Avery, who had been serving his life sentence at the Maximum Security Wapan Correctional Institution, was transferred to the Medium Security Fox Lake Correctional Institution on Tuesday. Former President Trump was calling top officials at the Department of Justice virtually every day to look into his bogus claims of election fraud. That's according to new testimony from the House Committee investigating January 6th. CBS's Serena Marshall is on Capitol Hill with more details of the former president's pressure campaign.
The House Select Committee investigating the January 6th attack used its fifth hearing of June to show how former President Trump wanted to use the Justice Department to legitimize his false claims of election fraud. What I'm just asking you to do is just say it was corrupt and leave the rest to me and the Republican congressman. The former president's own appointees at the DOJ refused and told him there was no fraud. And he had this arsenal of allegations. I went piece by piece to say, no, that's false. That is not true. Mr. Trump then tried to replace former acting attorney general Jeffrey Rosen with Jeffrey Clark, the DOJ's environmental lawyer and a supporter of Mr. Trump's cause. You know, listen, the best I can tell is the only thing you know about environmental and elections challenges is they both start with E. Clark wanted the DOJ to push for a special legislative session in several states to overturn the election results. In an Oval Office meeting on January 3rd, top DOJ officials threatened to resign in mass if Clark was promoted. No one is going to read this letter. All anyone is going to think is that you went through two attorneys general in two weeks until you found the environmental guy to sign this thing. At the end of the hearing, the committee showed how several Republican congressmen asked for pardons. The general tone was, we may get prosecuted because we were defensive of you know, the president's positions. Clark, who was never named acting attorney general, invoked the Fifth Amendment more than 100 times during his deposition to the committee. Serena Marshall, CBS News, Washington. Federal investigators raided Clark's home in Northern Virginia yesterday. It's unclear what the reason was for the raid. Michael Gableman, the former Wisconsin Supreme Court justice hired by Republicans to investigate the 2020 election, says he routinely deleted records and deactivated a personal email account, even after receiving open records requests. Gableman made the comments today while testifying in court in a hearing in Dane County. Today's hearing was about whether Representative Robin Voss should also be held in contempt. The judge ultimately decided against that, but said she would determine later whether to penalize Speaker Voss for how he, too, handled open records requests. New video tonight showing a devastating fire in Argentina, a fire that broke out an early Thursday morning in an apartment building in Buenos Aires. Five people were killed and 30 others were sent to the hospital due to smoke inhalation. The fire broke out on the seventh floor of a 14-story building. Firefighters managed to extinguish the fire, the cause of which is being investigated. And tomorrow is the one-year anniversary of the deadly condo collapse in Surfside, Florida. 98 people were killed when the building collapsed in the middle of the night. Those who died ranged in age from 1 to 92 years old. Meanwhile, today a judge gave final approval to a $1 billion settlement with about 40 businesses and entities, which was reached last month with families of victims who sued. Around Wisconsin, the baby boom continues at the Milwaukee County Zoo. Look at that. A red panda was born there on June 12th. According to the zoo, the female cub is part of the red panda species survival plan, which helps to mainstay genetic diversity within red panda populations in certain accredited zoos. The cub, who doesn't have a name yet, was born in an off-exhibit area in a secluded and quiet nest box. Keepers can closely monitor her with special cameras. Still to come tonight, we'll check back in with Gary Canalti for a look at your full forecast, including what we can expect for this weekend. But first, Tesla may be in some trouble. Why owner's owner Elon Musk says it could go bankrupt and soon. Huge appliance savings are happening now at Furniture and Appliance Mart's $20 million truckload sale. Don't miss store-wide savings, including door busters, plus special buys up to 40% off at Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley off the Beltline in East Springs Drive. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Donate today. I'm Tim Michaels. My company was building the Keystone Pipeline, but then Joe Biden canceled it, afraid to offend liberals. Biden killed hundreds of jobs, sent gas prices way up, making everything more expensive. Only a career politician could make such a mess of things. I'm Tim Michaels. Liberals like Biden and Tony Evers are destroying our economy, and the hardworking people of Wisconsin, they're paying the price. 
As governor, I'll fight to make sure you keep more of your money, and I don't care who I offend to do it. With eye care, the medicine you need may cost less than ever before. New in 2022, you pay a $0 copay for all of your Medicare-eligible Part D drugs up to the coverage gap. Then your cost will be the typical extra help copay amount. You'll also receive up to $2,500 in dental benefits and $300 in vision benefits. Call the eye care benefits helpline for a free consultation to get all the benefits you're entitled to. Rest easy. Eye care is looking out for you and your health. The Spring Green Art Fair is coming June 25th and 26th to downtown Spring Green. Hundreds of artists from around the nation will be there both days. Don't miss the fun and excitement June 25th and 26th in Spring Green. Get inspired. Tour 30 custom homes and see the newest trends. The Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns, is open daily June 17th through 26th. Visit madisonparadeofhomes.com for tickets and more information. The Stars and Stripes sale is happening now at Ashley. Don't miss our biggest savings this summer. Shop early for doorbuster discounts up to 52% off while supplies last. Plus a holiday bonus of 5% off at checkout. And five years special financing and a $1,000 purchase is just $21 a month. Only at Ashley. It's Summerfest opening weekend, and we've got some great reasons to check it out. Yeah, tomorrow we'll look at the headliners, special promotions, and how you can get in for free. And we're going to be ending the week with some heat. We'll be having your forecast tomorrow from 437. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. One of the six biggest festivals is underway. Today, Summerfest opened its gates, marking the start of the multi-weekend festival. The festival is set to take place over three weekends. And some of the acts include Jason Aldean, Lil Wayne with the Wu-Tang Clan, Machine Gun Kelly, and the Backstreet Boys. More local news. Some of the finest antique automobiles made a stop in Sun Prairie today. It's part of the Great Race, the world's premier old car rally. Sun Prairie was chosen as a lunch stop. It features teams and cars from all over the world. The event started in Warwick, Rhode Island on Saturday and will finish in Fargo, North Dakota this Sunday. Next at 10, Jewel products are being pulled off shelves in the U.S. The FDA just made the call about the company's vape products today. Federal health officials say the decision was based on Jewel's application to market its products. Jewel got a lot of attention after it was criticized for selling flavored vape products that were popular with teens. A vegan meal plan service is facing some backlash right now. Daily Harvest is recalling one of its meals, French lentil with leek crumbles, after some customers posted on social media about getting sick after eating it. Some people complained about bad stomach pain, and others say their livers and gallbladders were damaged. Daily Harvest is asking people to throw out that meal, and the company says it's working with the FDA to investigate the issue. More layoffs at Netflix. The streaming giant is letting go of 300 more workers. That comes just a month after 150 other Netflix employees lost their jobs. In April, Netflix announced it lost subscribers for the first time in more than a decade. Its stock has plummeted about 70% this year. Elon Musk says he's worried Tesla could go bankrupt. The company is facing billions of dollars in losses from its new plants, as well as supply chain problems and COVID lockdowns. In a recent interview with a Tesla owners group, Musk, who is CEO, mentioned automakers in general are going bankrupt. He says his concern is figuring out how to keep Tesla factories operating so they can pay people. Nike is now fully exiting Russia, joining other big Western brands. Nike suspended online and franchise store sales in Russia shortly after it invaded Ukraine back in March. But its non-franchise stores continue to operate. But that's coming to an end. Well, Gary joins us now with our full forecast. A pretty nice evening, and hopefully that will continue. As long as the humidity stays yeah. down, that's the that's the big difference. Uh, yeah, today, temperatures are in the upper 80s. Tomorrow will be around 90 degrees. But if we take a look at three things you need to know, we'll see plenty of sunshine for tomorrow. High temperatures up around 90. But when you factor in the humidity, the heat index shouldn't be too much above 90. So 
it'll be kind of a dry heat. Then we'll see some scattered showers and thunderstorms from late tomorrow night into Saturday and Saturday evening. A cold front will come through then, and temperatures will drop back into the 70s for Sunday and Monday. Tonight, some strong to severe thunderstorms moving through parts of northwestern Wisconsin and northern Minnesota. Um, kind of interesting. These are blowing a little bit more to the south than the computer models had them, uh, staying more up to the north, but the air is still drier across southern Wisconsin, so that should keep the storms away. Tomorrow, there'll be a couple rounds of storms out to the west. Storm Prediction Center has a level two or slight risk of severe thunderstorms over western Iowa, western Minnesota, and a level one or slight risk or a moderate a marginal risk into far western Wisconsin for an isolated storm that might reach severe limits in that area. On Saturday, the severe weather threat shifts to the south and east and might cover parts of southwestern Wisconsin with wind and hail being the main threats there. High temperatures today, upper 80s here, but 90s pretty common out to the west. Twin Cities in the mid 90s today. But again, the humidity levels are higher farther out to the west. That's where the heat index readings were higher. And you can see right now temperatures in the 70s across Wisconsin, still in the 80s out to the west. But notice the dew point temperatures right around 60 or just a little bit above across Wisconsin. Still only 59 in the Twin Cities. But notice to the west, that's where the more sultry areas where dew point temperatures are in the uh, upper 60s and lower 70s. It'll take a little while for that moisture to reach us, but that'll happen late tomorrow night into Saturday when it'll be noticeably more humid. Thunderstorms developing on the leading edge of that more humid air mass lifting northward, and the jet stream becomes a little more southwesterly, so that'll start to pull the moisture northward. Uh, on the surface weather map, there is a warm front to the south and west, and once that moves in, we'll start to see our humidity levels increase. Right now, temperatures pretty comfortable here, a little warmer out to the west, but on future track, the computer models try to take those thunderstorms south, but watch how they just kind of fizzle out as they move into the drier air across southern Wisconsin. So expected to stay dry for tonight, dry for the day tomorrow, and probably much of tomorrow night. But then the next batch of storms in the Dakotas, Minnesota, moves into southern Wisconsin Saturday morning and then sweeps eastward. Maybe a couple more storms firing up in the afternoon. And then we see a wind shift to the west and northwest. And when that happens, the air dries out again and we'll see temperatures a little bit cooler. Highs in the 70s, like I say, for Sunday and Monday before we get back to around 80 or a little bit above by Tuesday of next week. So our forecast for tomorrow, mostly sunny, hot, still not too humid, high temperature at 90. And as we check out future track, we start out at 90 tomorrow afternoon. Stay dry for much of tomorrow night, but here comes those storms early Saturday morning. They'll move on through maybe a couple of storms during the day on Saturday, highs in the lower 80s. And then after that, back to the mid 70s on Sunday, upper 70s on Monday, and then low 80s for much of next week. There'll be almost a daily chance for a shower or thunderstorm, but only about a 20% chance. So most of the time it'll be dry and that trend will actually continue into Monday, the 4th of July. Emotions running high tonight in Brooklyn. We have all the details on Johnny Davis's top 10 selection, plus the Bucks' first round pick. That's coming up next in sports. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Change it up and choose Dutch Boy from Menards. Get the best quality Dutch Boy paints at the best prices. Pick out the perfect color. We offer free custom color matching and tinting to create thousands of color options. And with Dutch Boy's easy opening, smooth pouring container, and no prep, no prime formula, transforming your home has never been easier. Get Dutch Boy Forever Interior Flat Paint for $30.98 after 11% rebate. Shop the inventory blowout sale at Grand Appliance for unbeatable deals on our huge selection of in-stock appliances and grills. Get exclusive offers like this 5 cubic foot Frigidaire chest freezer for just $157, this premium KitchenAid dishwasher for just $697, or this 26 cubic foot side-by-side -side refrigerator for just $797. Shop your local showroom or grandappliance.com today. Grand Appliance. You make it home, we make it grand. Love that Chevy Blazer. That's our next SUV. Love that Equinox. That's our next SUV. Nice Trailblazer. It was love at first sight. What? The Chevy family of SUVs find new options, find new roads. Qualified lessees can sign and drive this Equinox for around $340 a month. Tax, title, license, and dealer fees are extra. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Spectrum presents Stream Home Makeover with JoJo. We transform the Joneses' home, upgrading their entertainment experience with the best TV and internet services from Spectrum. Let's go. With Spectrum TV, you get your favorite channels and streaming apps, plus tons of on-demand. 
Switch to Spectrum TV and Internet for only $49.99 a month each with no contract. Call 1-844-480-4713. Ready for more? Take a look. <laughs> with the free Spectrum TV app, you can stream live sports, news, and more on all your devices, inside, outside, and on the go. <laughs> That's awesome. There's more. We powered up the game room with Spectrum Internet, which gives you the fast, reliable speeds you need to power all your devices. And it comes with free security suite, so you can feel completely safe and secure. Switch to Spectrum TV and Internet for only $49.99 a month each with free modem. Call 1-844-480-4713. Give your home a Spectrum Stream home makeover. Call now. Visiting the Paco Credit Union was the thing that started all this. We had a lot of student loan debt, low credit scores for bad decisions we had made in our younger years. We thought it was the point where you could never come back from it. We've always wanted to own our own restaurant, so I just kind of floated the idea like, oh, I found this food truck. I was like, yeah, let's try it. Dupaco helped us so much with just putting everything together. Definitely life-changing for us. What we have right now would not have been possible without Dupaco Credit Union. is now a reality for Johnny Davis. The Big Ten Player of the Year rounds out the top ten of this year's NBA draft, being selected tenth overall by the Washington Wizards. He's now the first Badger to be drafted in the first round since Frank Kaminsky and Sam Decker went ninth and 18th overall in 2015. He also becomes just the tenth player from Wisconsin to go in the first round. Davis is coming off a sophomore campaign that catapulted him onto the national stage. He averaged almost 20 points and over eight boards a game, helping him earn a consensus first-team All-American nod the Jerry West Shooting Guard of the Year Award, as well as being named the Lute Olsen National Player of the Year. And with their first and maybe only pick in this year's draft, the Bucks select Marjan Beauchamp from the G League Ignite. A very moving moment at the Barclays Center tonight as Beauchamp hears his name called. Looking at his resume, in 12 games with the G League, he shot over 57% from the field, averaging over 15 points and 7 rebounds per game. Now heading overseas to check on former Badger Khalil Iverson, Team USA has played Played in four games in the FIBA three-on-three -three World Cup tournament, winning three of those matchups. Over the four-game stretch, Iverson has 19 points. Team USA, they're not an automatic lock for the quarterfinals, so they're heading to the play-in round where they're going to face New Zealand. And when it comes to divisional matchups, especially between the Brewers and Cardinals, it's never smooth sailing. Brew crew reclaim the lead in the NL Central, then the Cards win two straight and take it back. So a prime opportunity this afternoon for the Brewers to tie it up and split the series. They're down by a run in the fourth. Tyrone Taylor steps up with two runners on, and of course he delivers. That one's gone. It's his eighth of the season. Gives the crew the lead. Cards make it a one-run game, but Willie Adamas proves provides more scoreboard separation. That's his team-leading 15th home. The Brewers win this one 6-4, get the split, and are back to a divisional tie. And coming off the AmFam Championship, Jerry Kelly won to take his form and stride into the U.S. Senior Open Championship. The tournament teed off today in Pennsylvania. Here's a look at the leaderboard following round one. Steve Stricker, he's just one shot off the lead right now, tied for third. Kelly is tied for 22nd and is one over overall. We'll be right back. things we take for granted and along with them sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too how can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living and through no fault of their own they're being left behind if you or someone you know needs a hand up our energy water and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home you may not ask for it but we're here to help 
Brothers Maine enjoys 4th of July festivities with family, friends, and fabulous kitchen and laundry deals. Our fireworks of savings on GE appliances and free delivery will make you ooh and ah. Feel like family at Brothers Maine. Repeat after me. Computer screen off. Happy hour on. <sighs> One of the best parts about being an adult is we get to call this networking. <laughs> <laughs> High V hot deals are super hot this Friday through Sunday. Fresh avocados, five for only five dollars. Whole seedless watermelon, only three ninety nine. Basket and bushel strawberries, only three ninety nine for a two pound pack. Lunchables, three for only four dollars with coupon. And the savings are hotter than hot on Cottonelle bath tissue. Six mega rolls for only four ninety nine with coupon. Scan the QR code and check out HighVDeals.com for more deals. Hey, this one's free. Car in front of you pay for it. The best things in life are free. It's the greatest day of my life. <laughs> Just wait till she hears about free installation from Feldco. <gasps> free installation? <laughs> free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest until 2024. That's something to get excited about. Free installation ends soon. Call now. Full quality windows, siding, and doors. Call 866 for Feldco. Whether you have a design emergency or you just want to shop the best furniture showroom in town, you need dwellings. Madison's best kept secret for design and furniture. Shop our fabulous showroom. Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. Go to Amazon.com skills to enable Channel 3000 news briefs. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Finally tonight, one of the world's most popular condiments is getting a new gig in the form of a limited edition ketchup flavored ice pop called no. the French no. no. Yes, and it's made by French's. It's described as a savory tomato flavor balanced with a hint of salty sweetness. It's only available at a few pop-up locations in Canada and only for a few days. It's free. Yeah, it's free. Yeah. The popsicles were created in collaboration with the Canadian ice pop brand Happy Pops. A story like that is one of the reasons why I don't mind mm. having lost my taste after COVID. But, uh, <laughs> folks at home, if you need to beat the heat this weekend, grab yourselves an ice tray and some ketchup. You got a nice no, outdoor treat. No, thank you. I that do not recommend you? that. No. <laughs> this advice is free, too. <laughs> <laughs> and I take it for what it's worth. There's the live view from Edgewater Sky Camp. Skies are clear out there. Rain up to the north should stay up to the north for a while. Probably won't see thunderstorms until late tomorrow night. 77 right now in Madison. Dew point temperatures are around 60. Look for a low tonight of about 67 and a high tomorrow of 90. Thanks everyone for spending this time with us. Have a great evening.